this is Shannon from SIS for Teachers. Today we're going to show you how to do some addition strategies with our favorite friend BC. He wears a hard hat and carries a mallet and likes to decompose numbers when he finds that they're not friendly. When we look at some addition problems, DC will look to see if it has a 10 or maybe as it gets older, might look for a decade number or even a um, maybe a friendlier number. Our website at sisforteachers.org has a great animated video out to show you the variety of strategies that DC is able to do. We're going to take a strategy at first just to see how DC does with 8 plus 6. Then we'll kind of ramp this example up to show how it might look for larger numbers. We're going to use our friend the counting buddy. The counting buddy is a math manipulative that is in a lot of our teachers' salad bars that really helps students learn this strategy of 8 plus 6 using a linear model to help to understand how kind of adding things together when you say make a 10, kids oftentimes are confused. You certainly could use a double 10 frame to show this, but you want students to be able to understand this process in more than one way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down our first add-in on my buddy, which is going to be 8. I'm going to lay that down here to show that my 8 is represented here. Each of the counting buddy juniors, the seniors have 10 of one color and 10 of another. We have counting buddy juniors that are used in the kindergarten and preschool that just have 5 and 5. But for adding numbers that are sums beyond 10, the junior is really a great way when you're looking really within sums of of 20. So I'm going to pull over my 6. So we kind of focused here on what we're looking at. We're trying to add 8 plus 6. We want kids concretely to see how they're going to make that connection to the 10. When students start to play and understand the counting buddy, they know the counting buddy seniors have 10 of each color. So as we know, this is very close to being complete over here. When we think of the character DC, he likes things to be really friendly. So he really wants the child to decompose this six because he wants this two to go over with the rest of the yellow because it looks nice and organized. So he may decide to decompose, you know, with his mallet and kind of show. So I'm going to show it concretely how I'm going to decompose the six into two and four. I'm going to take that two and add it to my eight. And I now can see my answer is 14. This would be the concrete way. We want to teach through CPA for students to understand it concretely, pictorially, and then abstractly. So we're going to kind of use our counting buddy over here, and I'm going to label that as our concrete tool that we're going to be using. If we wanted to show this pictorially, we would draw a picture using our number bond to show what happened. We decompose the six into two and four. When I moved those two beads over to the eight, I ended up composing or putting those together to make that nice, friendly 10. I took the 10 and I added it to the four beads that I had left over to get the 14. So you kind of have this as your concrete model. This over here could be representative of our pictorial model. And then our new problem that we created is going to be our abstract. So you can sort of see our CPA as we put it together. We can also do this a different way. Students don't necessarily have to make the eight make a 10. They could certainly decompose the eight into four and four and make this six a 10. It can go either way showing the different strategies that students know. Let's take a look at this as a little higher problem to see how kids might answer it. Obviously, after you get out of sums of 20, the double 10 frame, the, um, the counting buddy, as well as the rack and wrap kind of become a tool that aren't as useful. We might want to bring in an abacus when we're thinking about this. So if I were to add together maybe the numbers 68 and I wanted to add it to the number 13. Remember, DC is kind of not liking this right now because it really isn't turning out to be a friendly number like he had hoped. So he might want to use an abacus to help him to solve this by building 68 and then underneath it building 13. We're going to sh show it on here in a pictorial model where DC might decide that he wants to decompose the 13. This is really close to 70 and so he's going to pull two out of the 13, leaving the 11 here. He knows if he takes this two and adds it to the 68, it's gonna make a nice, friendly 70. 
When he adds that to the 11, he knows that he has the number 81. This is kind of taking it from a pictorial to an abstract model, but there would be no reason why I couldn't bring out an abacus, or we could check out how to do it on even a digital abacus online. Using the strategy of DC helps students solve problems from addition to decimals to fractions to money. You can do lots of different things using DC by kind of finding a friendly number. Students do a great job of explaining how they know. We hope that you found our tutorial video on how to solve addition problems with DC helpful. DC has a really great animated video online that he hopes that you check out. Thanks so much for joining us.